Hey guys, so this video is going to be my favorite attractions in Walt Disney World. So if you didn't know, I absolutely love Disney World. I have been there four times in 2002, 2004, 2015, and 2016. And yeah, I just, I absolutely love Disney. I have grown up with Disney my entire life, just like probably many of you watching. And I absolutely love going to Walt Disney World. I, it's one of my favorite places to go. I feel like especially going the last two times those are trips that i booked myself with my friend um it wasn't like a family trip or anything so i really would say that i learned a lot about disney world and booking a trip and everything there and i figured out the things that i like and the things that i don't like especially because there has been such a gap from when I went when I was younger to when I went now. Um, there was like an 11 year gap from when I went um, my second time to my third time. So I feel like now, you know, I went recently, the parks have been updated and I've learned what I like and what I don't. And I want to share that with you because maybe you have never been to Disney before and you're going for your first time or maybe you haven't been in a long time and you don't know what attractions to try. And yeah, so these are, the attraction that I like the best. I'm gonna talk about my favorite in each park and then I'm gonna talk about my favorite overall in general, my top five. Um, I have them down here, so if I'm looking down, that's why. So let's just get right into the video. So first we're gonna talk about my favorite park, Magic Kingdom. And in that park, I actually have five attractions that I'm gonna talk about that I really like. And these are in order, by the way, just saying. So number five, my fifth favorite attraction in Magic Kingdom is Space Mountain. And I like it. I do like this ride. Like I said, it's on my list. I do kind of get freaked out at roller coasters. I, I'm very hesitant when riding roller coasters. They're not my favorite thing to ride. And this one, I think it's because it's dark and you can tell you're high up, it's, it is dark in there. So that helps a little bit. It still makes me anxious, um, but overall, when I get off the ride, it is fun. I do willingly go on it. I do like it. My friend made me go on it um, when we went in 2015, and I trust her <laughs> because she doesn't go on anything super crazy either. So I went on it with her, and I did really enjoy it. I am like screaming the whole time and holding on for dear life, but I get off of it enjoying it. Number four is It's a Small World. It's a classic. I feel like it has to be on my list. It's just a really fun, chill ride with a very cute song. I know a lot of people don't like it. It gets stuck in your head all day. I personally like It's a Small World as a song and a ride. I think the scenery is beautiful. I think it's just very colorful and fun and sparkly and just really interesting. I also love traveling and all that stuff. And so I just think it's really cute to see like the little animatronic doll things, you know, in different countries. And it's just fun, like pointing out the different countries. Like I'm Italian, so I love like seeing the little Italy part. And I just absolutely love England. So I like pointing out like the British ones. So it's just really cute to see all the different little doll kid things i don't know what you call them but yes i love it's a small world and i have to go on every single time number three is mickey's philhar magic i don't know what you call an attraction it's more like a show it's a 3d show and so it's you basically follow donald as um he helps mickey set up for a performance he ends up conducting the instruments and he gets kind of magically put into different disney movies and like different disney movie scenes and you know he goes into the little mermaid and the part of your world scene and then a whole new world scene in aladdin and um i just can't wait to be king in the lion king and it's just so funny because it's the actual scenes from the movie, but Donald is in them kind of wreaking havoc and it's just super cute, super fun, and it's just fun to sing along. So I highly, highly recommend that. If you like shows, it's also really fun to just sit there and just be cool because it's nice and cold in there. So that's also a plus to that one. Number two is Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. And this one is just so fun. It's, um, if you don't know, it's a game where you sit with a friend and you shoot like Buzz's laser at targets. And it's just a fun like competition game where you kind of compete to see who can get the most points. And if you get 900 or 99,000, I think, 99,999, I believe that's the number. If like you fill up the whole board with nines, you take a picture, show a cast member, and you can get a uh, Space Ranger button. So that's really awesome. Haven't done that yet. Want to do that one day on the Disney bucket list. Yeah, this ride is just so fun. And it's also kind of nostalgic for me because the first time I went, well, the first two times I went with my family, this was my brother's absolute favorite ride. 
he was obsessed with it and so we had to go on it a bunch of times he even bought um they i don't know if they sell it, sell it anymore i haven't seen it when i went in like the gift shop after the ride but they used to sell the little like laser gun from the ride and it like when you press the button it made the same noises it didn't shoot lasers but it made the same noises that the ride does so it's just kind of also nostalgic for me just because my brother really enjoyed it when he was little and like we had the little toy like the gun so it was just it's just nostalgic and also who doesn't love Buzz? I love Toy Story, as you can tell <laughs> by my sweater. And then my number one favorite ride in Magic Kingdom, hands down, is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I love this ride. And as I mentioned before, I said I'm not the biggest fan of roller coasters, but this is super low key. It's not intense at all. Like little kids go on this. It's totally fine. This is my favorite kind of roller coaster. And I just, I think this ride is so fun. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just so much fun. It looks like the mines that the seven dwarves mine in work in. As you go up, you like hear um, Hi Ho, the song, you know Hi Ho? Hi ho, it's up to work we go, that song. And it's just so fun. And you're singing along the whole time because you hear it the whole time. And it's just so fun. I love it. I don't know what it is about that ride, but it's just so fun to the point where we waited in line for an hour and a half, almost two hours, I think, for this ride. The wait is 100% worth it. I don't care if it's 120 minutes. I will wait for this ride. You just sing along the whole time and you get off wanting to get right back on. So that is 100% my favorite ride in Magic Kingdom. So I totally forgot to mention how much I love the uh, Little Mermaid ride in Magic Kingdom, which is called Under the Sea Journey to the Little Mermaid. It's so much fun. You just basically sing along to Little Mermaid songs the entire time because you're moving through the story of Ariel, the Little Mermaid. And yeah, you sing along the whole time and it's also really cold in there, so it's great. So this is going to be an honorable mention because I just forgot to put it in my top five, but it's definitely one of my favorites and I ride it every single time I go to Disney World. So next we are moving on to Hollywood Studios and I have four favorite rides or attractions in this park. So number four is the Voyage of the Little Mermaid show. This is just literally a show of the Little Mermaid. It tells a story of Ariel. It's very condensed. I think it's only about like maybe like 15 to 20 minutes. It's definitely not longer than half an hour, but it's just so cute and if you like the little mermaid and singing along and all of that it's definitely a fun experience the little the little mermaid is one of my absolute favorite disney movies ariel is one of my favorite princesses and so it's just really fun number three is star wars the adventure continues and this ride is so fun it's just basically you sit in it well it's like you're sitting in a ship Called. To be honest, I'm not the biggest Star Wars fan. That's my brother. <laughs> my brother's a huge Star Wars fan, so you're, I don't know what things are called. So sorry if I get things wrong. Don't really, don't don't really care for Star Wars too much. I have seen all the movies because I again have a brother who loves Star Wars. So I have seen all the movies, but I don't know all the correct terms for everything. So sorry in advance if you are a huge Star Wars fan. But you're sitting in the ship and C-3PO is basically like flying the ship when he's not supposed to, he kind of takes it. And you just get kind of like thrown around everywhere and R2-D2 is there and BB-8 shows up and you're just like flying through the galaxy and you like hit things and it's just really, really funny. And they have, I don't know if this ride was there previously. Um, it definitely wasn't there in 2004 and 2002, but I don't know if it came in somewhere like later on um, and they updated it, but there's like characters from the newer Star Wars movies. So like from The Force Awakens and stuff like BB-8 and another character that I forget his name. Sorry, again, like I said, not a huge Star Wars fan, but I just, I, I just know it because my brother. But this ride is so much fun, and I mean, I am for like I like I mentioned, I am familiar with Star Wars. I don't know everything, but I am familiar enough to enjoy the ride a little bit more than maybe someone who's never seen a Star Wars movie. Number two is a very classic ride, great movie ride. It's just very nostalgic for me because I remember riding it the first time I went to Disney all the way back in 2002, and I really enjoyed it then. I love movies, so I just think it's really fun to kind of sit through and just see movie history, just see all the movies that I've enjoyed growing up, like um, Wizard of Oz is in there, and I was obsessed with that movie when I was little. I love 
that part with like Munchkin Land and the Yellow Brick Road and seeing uh, the Wicked Witch of the West and seeing Mary Poppins and um, it's just a very fun ride in my opinion just going through and seeing all the movies and my number one favorite ride in Hollywood Studios is 100% Toy Story Midway Mania. That ride, like I mentioned with the Buzz, is just amazing. I love Toy Story, obviously. It's similar to Buzz Lightyear where it's a competition type of game. This one's more carnival style, so you have a little thing and you pull the little like string and it like shoots out stuff, whatever it may be, to like knock down things and get points and shoot the targets and all that stuff. And it is 3D, so you do get 3D glasses and it's just so fun. It's one of those games, just like Buzz, where it's fun to be with a friend and compete to see who can get the most points. Every single time we go on it, I like my friend and I like battle it out and it's just so fun. Just like Seven Doors Mine Train, this ride, the wait is forever, it's so popular. But the queue, I will say the queue line is amazing because you walk in and you feel like you're a toy. There's giant toys everywhere and you feel like you've gotten shrunken down to toy size and it's so fun and then you get into where the like actual cars are and you step into Andy's room and it's literally Andy's room it's amazing but even if you have to wait like you're waiting in such a fun spot that like you just kind of walk everywhere and there's fun things to look at everywhere and the next park we're gonna, we're gonna talk about is Epcot and for Epcot I only have three but right just because there's not many attractions in Epcot especially out of all those attractions I'm just not a fan of most of them or haven't been on some of them my third favorite attraction is Soren and Soren is just so fun and I would I will say it is number three just because of my fear of heights. I love Soren. I think it's so interesting and I've been on it both times. I've been to Disney or it's most two recent times I've been to Disney, but it does freak me out, not even gonna lie. It is kind of scary. I will say I have been on both Soren over California and Soren over the world. I do much prefer Soren over the world. I think it's so much more interesting. We're in Florida, we're not in California. It was fun to do Soren over California and like smelling the oranges and stuff, but you're seeing Disneyland and it's not as interesting to me because it's, I'm not, I'm not in California. So I like how they changed it to Soarin' Over the World. You get to see more things and it's just really incredible views. It's just really fun. And I am afraid of heights, not gonna lie. It is kind of freaky and it, it, I do hold on very tight, but once you get off, you're like, that was incredible. That was amazing. I'm so glad I went on it. Like I, I don't regret ever going. It didn't scare me that much just because I had to keep telling myself like, it's just a screen. You're literally watching a movie. <laughs> you're fine, you're strapped in. Number two is a ride that I went on for the first time last year, actually. I haven't been on this before, and it's Test Track. I haven't been on the old Test Track. I've just been on the newly updated, renovated one, and I think it's amazing. This ride is so awesome. And if you don't know what Test Track is, um, you basically test a car. So you first go in to build a car, so you design it and everything, and then you go in to test it, and then you go out and you, like, drive around the track which is around the building and you go outside and you go so fast it's so much fun and then my number one favorite ride in Epcot is Spaceship Earth and this is just a classic again it's just kind of nostalgic I went on it when I went first went to Disney and I think everyone loves this ride I just think it's so fun also I love history so it's really fun to just kind of sit in a nice cool environment that helps and just kind of go through history and everything and also who doesn't love the end where you take a funny picture and design your future lives and so those are the only perks we're going to talk about not going to mention animal kingdom because one i don't like animal kingdom and two i haven't been there since 2004 so the only ride that i really remember and that i really only like from animal kingdom is it's tough to be a bug and so i actually also have three rides that i've never been on in disney world and i really want to go on and hopefully in a future trip i will get to ride them but they are or not ride them but see them because they're attractions but the first one is frozen ever after i love frozen i didn't get to go on that ride the last time we went to disney it wasn't open in 2015 but it was obviously in 2016 but we didn't get to go on it just because the line was so long and we couldn't get fast passes for it and we just wanted to do other things that that wasn't high up on our list but i would really love to go on it i've seen videos of it online i love frozen it just seems like a fun way to sing along to songs 
and just kind of cool off a little bit because I'm sure it's cold in there. The next one is Peter Pan's Flight. I've been wanting to go on this since 2015, but the line has always been so long and we just never got around to getting fast passes for it. But I do love Peter Pan and also I do really want to kind of fly over London because I love London. I love England so much. It just seems like a really cute ride and also another way to stay cool. And the third attraction that I really want to see is the Beauty and the Beast live on stage in Hollywood Studios and it's kind of similar to the Ariel show where it's just a showing of Beauty and the Beast and it goes through the story of Beauty and the Beast. I think it's a little bit longer than The Little Mermaid. We were trying to go see it the last time we went in 2016 last year, but the times didn't work out well and yeah, we just couldn't get on it and get a fast pass for it. So we weren't able to see it, but I do really want to see it because as it know, Beauty and the Beast is my absolute favorite Disney movie and I'm obsessed with it. So I would absolutely love to go see it. So those are all of my favorite attractions. I hope this video wasn't too, too long and I hope you enjoyed it. So if you like it, this video a thumbs up and I have other Disney videos. So I'll leave a link to that playlist down below and a card to it up above. And yeah, so check out those videos if you like Disney. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more if you enjoyed this and check out other videos. I do make other videos besides Disney videos and that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!